Good day viewers. We are going to continue on chapter 7 and we have been uh, doing some sums from example uh, 1.7.1 and that 7.1 we are going to uh, continue further and this was exercise 7.1. Exercise exercise as I said 7.1 and this will be question number two, which we had skipped uh, the other day uh, for some clarity in our drawing. It says ABCD is an equilateral. ABCD is an equilateral. So we will, and the figure is, is given. AB, uh, ABC, ABC. And this would be your, your D. We'll go this far and draw your D. So this is A and this is B. This is C. Uh, this is D, sorry. This is D and this is C. And B and D are joined. B and D are, jo uh, are joined. A and C are joined. A and C are joined. Okay, this is the figure, and this is uh, this figure is given, and it is given AD. AD is equal to AD is equal to BC. Yes, AD equal to BC. This is given. Uh, BC. This is given. This is given. AD is equal to BC, and angle. D A B is equal to angle C B A. So which one is D A B? D A B. So this angle and which one is given? C B A. C B A and this whole this whole angle. Okay, what do we have to prove? We have to prove that first triangle. So number one, you have to prove A, B, D is equivalent to triangle B, A, C. I forgot to write down this thing. For B, A, C and two, BD equal to AC and angle third is angle ABD ABD equal to angle BAC so I we are this is our third uh, the, uh, the third video presentation uh, on on chapter 7 we have done uh, uh, two uh, before and uh, those will be uh, uh, you are so you kindly go through them carefully so that you can also appreciate this this one okay let us start and see which is angle a b d so we are talking about this particular angle we are talking about this particular triangle we are talking about a b d and we are also talking about which are one another BAC BAC which is very easily gives you another one so this would be BAC so we will use this chalk here so this would be BAC so that it gives you certain amount of clarity okay so this is it now, first of all, when we are uh, going to uh, prove the congruency, so we can see that it has got this particular line, a B line, is a common line for both. So I can easily write uh, a B. This a is given on coming on top of this, so I'll shift this a here for better clarity. So we can write a B is equal to AB. Okay, so that, that is same. 
Now, here angle ABC is also given. Angle, so angle DAB is of this triangle. Or let us, to have some clarity, let us draw, uh, write down the triangles here. Uh, it is A, B, D. This side is A, B, D I draw. And this side would be triangle A, B, C or C, B, A. Let us say C, B, A. C, D, A. So on both sides there is A, B is equal to A, B. And this is also given. A, this is given. Angle A, B, C. Angle A, uh, D, B, D, A, B. Oh, let us write whatever is given. D, A, B is equal to angle D, A, B. And this is C, B, A. So, this side is C, B, A. Okay, this is given. No, this is this is already common. This is not given. This is this comes common. This is common. Okay, this is given. What else is given? What else is is given? AD is equal to BC. AD that means this side. This side is equal to this side. So, AD forms on this triangle, AD forms on this triangle, AD is equal to BC, this is given. Okay, so what is it? It becomes side, side angles. A, A, S congruency. Congruency. So I can write triangle ABD, ABD is congruent, is congruent to triangle uh, CBA, CBA. Okay, so one is proved. So this, this is proven. Once this is proven, this is proven, this is proven. So you can easily write that since this is a congruent triangle, BD, BD means this side is equal to AC. AC, BD is equal to AC. So this is one. An angle, you can, once you have proven uh, these things are this, uh, the congruency, ABD, A, ABD means this triangle, this angle, this angle. This belongs to ABD triangle. So angle ABD, ABD is equal to angle BAC. Okay, so this is all the three have been proven. Okay, now uh, question number two, you have to only look for this particular side uh, to be a common to both. This particular side is common to both. Okay, I hope this one is clear. This is not much. You have to pick up the uh, uh, proper triangles and then solve this problem. Okay, now we will jump to uh, question number uh, uh, five. Because other questions, question number three, four, uh, has already been done, and uh, we have to jump to question number five. Okay. Uh, question number uh, two, this becomes now five, and it says, uh, uh, we say L is the bi uh, bisector of angle A, and uh, line L is the bisector of an angle A. 
So before I do the bisector, I have to draw the angle first. So let me draw this angle. So this I call it angle A, uh, angle A, and it's a bisector. So draw its bisector. And this is a line L, okay? And it says that uh, uh, B is any point. So this is any point B. B is any point. And it says that uh, uh, B, uh, perpendicular from B. From B, so I draw a perpendicular on this line, on this arm of angle. So let us call it P and as given in the book and let us draw another perpendicular on this and let us call it Q. Okay. And what is given? This is the figure. Okay. Okay. So that to prove or show that as it has given, it doesn't say prove, but it says it's the same. Okay. That uh, one one triangle A B A P B A P B is congruent to triangle A Q B A Q B means what? Let's draw those two triangles. That means this is A P B A P, B. So if I hatch one of them, I think I don't have to hatch the other one because this will be shown here itself. Okay, this is angle one. You can write it down. You can also use another notation. This is triangle one, so triangle two. So this A, B, P is triangle one and this we will call it triangle two. So that this and uh, two, two you have to show PB, PB is equal to uh, 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 BQ. Okay, now other than PB is equal to BQ, I want all or is equidistance from the arms of angle A. So this, if you show this, that satis will be satisfied by that. We will go through the same process. We will draw a table here. I don't need uh, this much of length here. So I will be able to save some part of the board. So I will draw uh, a table, sort of a table. Here I will uh, write a triangle A, triangle A, P, B, A, P, B. And this side I will draw triangle, uh, uh, triangle A, Q, B. <coughs> okay, so these are the, let us see what happens. First of all, angle, angle Q, A, B is equal, is, would be equal to angle will be equal to, let us do it across, would be equal to angle uh, uh, P A Q, P A Q, this is because this is given as L bisects, bisects angle A. Okay. Then it is also given that uh, this particular angle, this particular angle, and this particular angle, they are 90. So uh, angle A Q B is equal to angle A P B. So angle uh, P, so uh, we are writing on this. So let us write down angle P. Uh, B this thing and this is would be angle A U B. Okay, so that takes care of two. Two angles we have given. One and point one and this is point two. 
and you can say AB is common. So this is common. AB is common because this is common to both the triangles. Now you can take it, we have not discussed this, but you can also take it as a right angle triangle and you can take hypotenuse and a side. We can do it that way also, but that point we have not discussed yet, so I will discuss it uh, later. So this can be done two ways. One is uh, uh, evoking, evoking, evoke, evoke, evoking, evoke, E-V-O-C-E, -E, evoking uh, R-H-S rule. A right angle, hypotenuse, and side. This is right angle, right angle, right angle. This is hypotenuse, hypotenuse, and this is side. This we have not discussed. We will discuss later. But this time, I will say that these two triangles are congruent. That is. A B Q triangle A P B is congruent to triangle to triangle. Uh, let's put this side hypotenuse. This side is on here so that I get that space and triangle A Q B A Q B on the basis of A. A and a side. Okay, point here. We have said that this will also work. We have discussed this point before in our previous this thing. Okay, this rule is also applicable. So this question number five is over. I hope this is nothing uh, uh, very difficult to understand because this takes care of all the this thing and I have made a sort of a uh, a table sort of it is so that you can easily understand which angle we are talking about. Okay. Now we will go to another example, which in which I will uh, spend a little bit of more time because this is a little bit uh, difficult. Uh, this is needs some understanding. Question number uh, uh, six uh, looks a little bit. Uh, complicated, but let us see how we can solve that question number six. Now, question number six shows a uh, uh, drawing like that. So, this would be question number six. And uh, this is, uh, uh, you have uh, BC. This is uh, BC, and on BC there is a point D. Okay, we will write those points. Then it goes all here, it goes. Uh, I think we sh should do the nomenclature later on after the drawing is finished. And then it goes all the way down to, goes all the way down to E, goes all the way down to, let us say, E. Okay, it takes time little bit A. So it says join AC. So I have joined AC. It says join AD. I have joined AD. I have joined AD. It says join CE. CE is necessary. We will join that too. So we will join. Okay, E, e will take it up little bit uh, this side. And then it will be easy for me to draw this line. So now this point is A, this point is A, this point is B. What does it say? It says AC. AC, so given AC is equal to AE. Okay. AB equal to AD. AD. And it says angle BAD. B 
angle angle okay sorry here i have uh, i have made a mistake that's why this is not uh, uh, fitting in properly this is a and this is b so but it doesn't change ac is equal to okay and now this is c this is d so ac is equal to ae so that means this is equal to this ac equal to ae and it also says AB, a, 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 B equal to AD, AB equal to AD. So this is where we came into AB equal to AD. Okay. So uh, we have now, I will put two lines in, in order to di differentiate between these two. And it says angle BAD, BAD, BAD equal to angle EAC. E A C. Okay, B A D. What is B A D? Clearly this angle. And it also contain E A C. E A C this angle. Now understand that I saw uh, the school uh, note of one of my uh, one of my students here, and I find that this has not been done properly. So this is the reason I am going to spend some time. So which are the two, tri first of all let us choose the triangles that we should take. We are talking about, uh, no, uh, okay this is given. What is to be proven? So that BC is equal to DE. So to prove, to prove, to prove or show, to prove uh, or, or let us use the same language as given in the book, so that, okay. so that, so that what, BC is equal to DE, what does BC comes in, BC comes in in this triangle, BC comes in, which triangle BC comes in, let us do the same thing here, so BC comes in in this triangle, right? BC comes in and DE comes in. Okay, I have not joined DE yet. I have not joined DE yet, so it is not that clear. So I will go, I have to go all the way and join DE. So this completes the triangle. Okay, we have to prove then DE, DE now we know this is DE. So DE comes in which triangle? We comes in this triangle. Um, we will use another chop. Okay, we will use this chop here. We will use this chop. So part of the triangle, part of those two triangles are, are, are falling on the other. So they are not clear cut. Okay. So let us do again as it is, I have drawn the line. Let us take up the triangle ABC. I need ABC because BC comes on this triangle. And I will take triangle and... Uh, ABC, that is triangle ABC. Let me, another triangle will be ADE because D comes in. ADE. Now, you see, a -S -S -A -C. AC means what? This one. So AC is in ABC. AC is in ABC and that is equal to AE given. AE, this is given, right? Okay, so that is, oh, secondly, uh, AB, another one comes AB, this is on this particular triangle, and another comes in, this is equal to uh, AD, this is equal to AD, this is equal to AD. Okay, now let us see the angle. The angle is this one, this angle. 
should be this this angle, the total angle that is not given. So we have to find what would be the angle if the angle ABC <coughs> is uh, is equal to. Uh, <coughs> then it will be I will be able to take that angle. Similar to that, we will have there is this particular angle. This angle also forms under the form, this angle, I also have to take these two angles. How do I do? <coughs> these are not, <coughs> not given, so I will pick up this particular, uh, um, angle, this particular angle. What is it? I will sketch it further. I will sketch it further for you. This whole triangle you take, this, this portion, and that means I am taking only this particular angle, this particular angle, this particular angle. I am doing it carefully. And I will call that angle, let us say call that angle, angle 1. So let us call it angle 1. Okay. Now what I will do, I will add, I will add this one on both sides. So if I have angle A, B, C or angle A, B, D plus angle 1 would be what equal to? Would be equal to angle A, B, C. Because <clears throat> this angle plus this angle will give me angle uh, um, uh, B A C will angle give me B A C. So uh, B. So this is. I'm sorry. I have to do B A B. So this is B A B plus angle A. So make these changes. B A D B A D. I am adding angle 1, which is B, A, C. So that is B, A, C. Okay? Now, <clears throat> similar to that, I, have I will take this angle C, A, E. C, A, E. And I will again angle at plus 1. That will give me angle, uh, angle D, angle D, A, E, angle D, A, E, right? Now, B, A, D, B, A, D is equal to A, C. So, this is given. These two are equal. This is equal. They are equal, given. And I am only added, adding the same thing to both of them, angle 1. So, therefore, I can write angle B, A, C, is equal to angle B A E. So I transfer it here. So this is angle B A C is equal to angle B A E. This is equal. These two are equal. If these two are equal, then this is a side, this is a side, and this is a angle. Okay? Okay? So this forms under S A S rule. S S S rule. So I can easily write triangle. I can write triangle A B C. A B C is congruent, is congruent to triangle. Uh, A, B, E. A, B, E. Okay. If that is true, <coughs> if this is true, then all corresponding parts will be equal. So, in that way, I can easily write B, C is equal to D, E. B, C is what? This is B, C. And this is DE. This is the corresponding. You can turn it on this thing. You will find DE falls on BC. 
Okay, that's what it has been asked to prove. That is, it has been asked to prove. So this is proven. Okay. Now this is this is the trick of so solving this problem. The trick of solving this problem is to show category add this particular uh, uh, angle, angle A, to both of them, to both the angles, because only is given that this angle is equal to this angle. So this, this thing is not being done in many one of the uh, uh, schools. I saw the class note of one. They have just simply said this is equal to this, but that is not correct. Okay. So we will now go. I hope you understand what we do, did the trick here. We added this particular angle and we increased this angle up to here as it has been shown here. And we also added to this angle, the same angle one, and we increased this one. So that it becomes the included angle uh, between these two sides, AD and AE, and here BA and uh, AC. Okay, so this concludes or this uh, shows uh, uh, question number six. We will now go to question number seven. We'll now go to question number seven. So the six goes away, seven comes in. Okay. It says AB is a line segment. So it says AB is a line segment. Okay. AB, P is its midpoint. So P is its midpoint. That is given. D and E are on the same side <coughs> of AB. That means it's on the same side. So this is D comes from this thing and this is E. These are the two points. Okay. And it says Oh, okay, now it's so I have this point. I join P and I join A and D. Okay, I also have to join uh, uh, P E. I have to join P E and I have to join E B. I have to join E B. So this is part of this thing is complete. So what is given? So that uh, a midpoint. So if it is, says it is midpoint, that means AP is equal to AB. Uh, PB, sorry. AP or let us write BP. Okay? Okay. And so let us see which are the triangles we have to choose. Here it is very clear what are the angles to triangles we have to choose because these are given. I was hatching both the triangles. This time I will only hatch one so that there is less complications. Okay, this is equal to this. Okay, this is given. Okay. And we have chosen our triangles. And whatever has been given, BAD, angle BAD, angle, angle, BAB, uh, BAD, okay, angle BAD, okay, this angle, okay, this angle, angle BAD, BA, BAD, is equal to angle angle A B E A B E. Uh, so this angle angle A B E. So this angle is this these two angles. 
So if I try right angle 1 and this is angle 2, let us do that. It is easy. So this is angle, I have designated is angle 1, this I have designated is as angle 2. And this says angle EPA, E P E P A. Uh, this doesn't E P A. E P A. E P A means this angle. This angle, E P A, and is equal to angle D. P B D P B D P B. So this angle. So let us do it both this side, and this angle are equal. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what happens here? These two angles are equal. So angle two, uh, angle three, is equal to angle four. This is what is given. Okay. Now. If I have to, so what I have to prove? I have to prove a triangle, triangle D, okay, we write generally proof on this side, so that it doesn't use proof, so that, so that triangle DAP, DAP is congruent to triangle EBP, EBP, DAP, DAP, that means the one I have hashed is equal to angle EB, the one I have not hashed. Okay, now if you see we have to go same, it's the same exercise as it is before. So here, one side, let us, let us do it. This is, let us take, this is triangle uh, uh, DAP and this is triangle EBP. Here, one AP is equal to PB is given. This is given. Angle one, equal to angle 2, this is given. So one side and one angle is given. This is a side, so I write side, this is the angle is given. Okay, now another angle is given. Now this angle, this angle doesn't help me anyway. So what I will have to do, this particular area, this particular angle, so this angle, this angle, this angle means what? E, D, E, P, D. Let us designate angle E, angle E, P, D as <coughs> angle 3, 4. Let us designate as 5. So, is equal to angle 5. Okay. So add angle 3 plus 5, angle 3 plus angle 5, gives you what? This gives you this total angle, this total angle. That gives you angle A, P, D. Okay? That gives you the total angle A, P, D. Okay, angle 4, angle 4 and angle 5 I add. Angle 4 and plus angle 5, plus angle 5. That gives me what angle? Angle 4 and angle 5. That gives me totality angle E, P, B. Angle E, P, B. Angle E, P, B, this angle. Okay, now let us see angle, angle A, angle A, P, uh, uh, D belongs to which triangle? Angle D, angle D, A, P. This is triangle, this triangle. 
So this I will write down angle EPB angle uh, no APB APB uh, I got angle APB is equal to angle E P B. Okay, so this is another another angle. So then I can write that these two triangles are congruent. That 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 triangle that triangle D A P is congruent to triangle E B P. Okay, do you understand that addition of angle 5? So this angle 5 addition is important. Is important this addition. This addition is important in order to convert angle 3 into an angle of this triangle D A A D A P D A P angle D A P. So these are congruent. Once I have been able to prove an angle congruent, this is same. Uh, is this uh, uh, both two are same? That means question number question number six and question number seven use uses the the same. The same same procedure. Uh, not same, I should not say same, said similar. Similar procedure. Addition of an angle. We have done it on the previous case also. So you are uh, you are uh, you understand this clearly? I do not think any one of the schools at least in Bhopal, I'm not talking about everywhere, as the schools and the uh, teaching institutions will either skip this or will not do it uh, properly. So be careful and use this video in order to uh, know how this problem is solved. Have, where I have... Viewers, well, thank you very much in having the patience in going through the whole uh, part of this uh, video. This video, as you know, has been, as, uh, will be uh, subsequently, a number of videos will be there in order to cover each part of the subject. I am sure you have already uh, liked the video as well as you have subscribed the channel. So, have a good day and uh, 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 with all my blessings. Thank you.